Hello beautifuls and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. It's me Minnie. I'm back with another video and this one is going to be a Lime Crime haul unboxing and a little bit of a rant. <laughs> so um, let me just start off by saying that I worked all day and I am pretty tired but um, I got home and this box was here and there was just no way that I couldn't open it. Like it was just like open me and I was like oh I have to do it and I didn't want to like open it and then try to repackage it and and be phony about unboxing so um I just want to say that I know a lot of people don't support Lime Crime and that kind of makes me a little sad in a way because there's been a lot of rumors about the company and you know it just I think all of us experience in our lives at some point somebody saying something about us that's not true or you know just experiencing rumors or gossip about us and it sucks it's it's a really shitty feeling and you know I don't know the owner of Lime Crime um, I just know that I've never had a problem ordering from them um, you know I, I don't know how much of what I've read is actually true and how much is false and there is so much um, bad publicity that the company has received but um, you know I didn't witness it myself and I'm sure some of it has to stem from some truth because there's just too much of it um, for it to be all false but um, I don't want to make decisions based on hearsay I'm an adult and I make my decisions based off of what I see and what I experience now last year they were hacked and that totally sucks um, so many major companies have been hacked and you know there's not much that can be done there was definitely a rumor that their security on the website was like lapsed and you know that the owner hadn't like renewed the security of her website and that's what caused it like to be easy to be hacked or that's what caused um, hackers maybe to target them because they were like oh look the security is lapsed let's let's do that I don't know if that's true I don't work for the company how the hell I don't even know where that rumor started so hopefully like I don't want to believe that's true if that is true that really sucks but um you know I, I've never had a problem with them um, and that's just me I, I, I have seen some people that I trust their opinion you know show products that may have been a little empty or like inconsistency in batches but you know I've experienced inconsistency in MAC lipsticks um, when I repurchase colors that I love um, I've experienced it with other brands so you know again I don't want to be super super hasty to judge and I, I don't like it when a lot of people gang up on anyone, like, especially for no, like, solid reason. And um, this is the internet. Anybody can say anything they want about whoever they want. Um, you know, there's people that leave awful comments on YouTube videos for no reason. Like, they'll watch a video and they'll be like, you're hideous. I hate your face and, and you look like shit. And just, just because they can. And, um, you know, it, it's just, it's, it, it's ugly. And I want to say that I, um, I love the way that Lime Crime's makeup makes me feel when I wear it. Um, and, you know, I think that everyone should be able to experience that with any brand and makeup should be fun and beauty should be like a positive, happy place, um, for everybody, no matter your race, your age, your gender, um, you should be able to wear whatever makeup you want and not have to defend wearing it um, and wear it how you want and don't ever let anyone tell you how to wear your makeup or what makeup you should buy. Wear what you want, buy what you want, and do what you want. It is your life and you only get one chance to live it, so do exactly what you want to do. With that being said, let's open this baby because I cannot wait. So uh, they had a sale <laughs> and they emailed me. And um, they they had a bunch of the unicorn lipsticks for like $5. So I was like, oh my God. But I already own a lot of them. I don't know if the sale is still going on. So if you're interested, check out the website. Because those lipsticks were originally retailing for like $18 to $20 US. And they were like $5 to $6 a piece. 
so get on it. Uh, also, their eyeliners, which were 14 to $18, um, I don't know, were like $5 and $6, so I finally bought myself some of the eyeliners. So, um, okay, so the shipper is small, and it's a cute little box, and when you open it up, it has this beautiful packaging, and um, if you don't know, this is reversible, so you can take it apart, and you can reverse the box, and then use it to store makeup, or nail polish, or whatever your little heart desires. So this time, I have some pink paper in here. Last two orders, um, I think it was yellow. And I also want to note that this got to me in five business days. That is amazing. Um, I do live on the opposite side of the country there in California. And I am in South Florida. And it got to me in five business days. So when you peel back the paper, there are the goodies. I got three of the liquid eyeliners. Um, because they were $5 a piece and I have been dying to try um, Blue Milk forever. Um, I also got one of the Pearlies. I only got one because I didn't know how they look on me, uh, if I like them and so on and so forth. So I only got one. And then I got the Venus 2 palette and I am so excited about it. So let's open these babies. So Lime Crime has definitely stepped up their shipping methods of, as far as like uh, not only how fast it gets to you but how they're packing the things they ship to you because this is the Venus 2 and it was sealed in pink by the way bubble wrap which is really cute. I don't I don't think I've ever seen a pink bubble wrap in my life. And then it is um, also inside of a plastic case. So that's like even more assurance and I just love that. But we're gonna do the eye um, shadow swatches last. So this is the um, liquid liner. It comes in this adorable little box um, and it's polka dotted. <clears throat> I don't know what just happened to my voice right there. This adorable little box um, and this is the color Blue Milk. I loved this color. I have been looking at it for years and now this baby is mine and I am so excited about that. Um, their ingredients are listed on the back. This company is cruelty free and vegan. Uh, I know that is up for some debate but it's it's pretty solid information that they are. So um, here is the little eyeliner. It's actually a lot smaller in person than I thought they would be. Uh, seeing them in like videos and seeing them uh, like online um, and on Instagram, they're they're so tiny and cute. And that that's actually a huge plus side for me because I don't like a super long applicator. I need to be able to like get in there to to make you know a precise uh, line. So I am so excited. This is so tiny, you guys, and cute. And Blue Milk, I mean, the name pretty much explains itself. It's a very milky, pastel, light blue. Okay, so first time opening this up. And the brush is absolutely perfect. Okay, it is very, very liquidy. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch that right here on my hand. That is pretty opaque. This is a tiny little streak, but um, I think that's because I didn't shake it at all. But it's pretty opaque for a pastel blue eyeliner. That's amazing. So the next one I have here is called Lunar C, and uh, it's just your standard, you know, white liner. But I, I don't own any white liquid liners, so I, I really wanted one. Um, I actually watch um, a YouTuber here by the name of Madam Jinx, and he just did an amazing um, goth slash chola inspired um, makeup look the other day, and. Um, Sorry, that's my fan that keeps kicking in on the computer, and I'm not sure why. Oh, good, it went off. Um, so he had used um, a white liner, which I just swatched right there, that's Lunar C, um, to accent his black wing, and I loved how it looked, and I wanted to recreate the look that he did this weekend uh, when I went out, but I couldn't because I didn't have white liner, so I will definitely be doing that uh, soon. Shout out to Madam Jinx and his awesome videos and swatches, and his Instagram is also lovely as well. 
So uh, here is the last liquid liner I have, and this is in the color Reason. This is a very metallic silver, and I love silver. I'm all about silver jewelry, and it's just, I would have it no other way. Uh, gold is beautiful for other people, but I prefer silver. Okay, so this is the only one so far that says any, uh, I've had any issue with the brush. Gosh, I don't know if you could really even see it. It's so slight. There is literally one stray hair right there, um, which can easily be trimmed off. I've had that happen with uh, OPI nail polish um, brushes. So this one isn't as opaque. Oh, that's much better. Okay, never mind. I got <laughs> that is much better. Check that out. That is just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really impressed by um, the opacity of these. Blue Milk, Lunar Sea, and Raisin. Um, and I cannot wait to start playing with these. So awesome. Okay guys, so next up we have the newest edition to uh, Lime Crimes line. It is one of their pearlies. This is in the color Gemma. And as you can see, it has like a metallic pearl type of um, label, whereas typically they're just white or black. Um, and it's in this really cute new box, um, which actually matches their shipping uh, box. And um, let's see, it's the same quantity, I, be I believe, as the unicorn lipstick. Oh, guys. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Oh, wait. It's upside down. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. Lime Crime. Beautiful packaging. I mean, just it, it feels far more sturdy than the um, Unicorn Lipsticks. Um, it's not as plasticky feeling. It, it feels of better quality. Um, and it's um, a little bit more grown up but yet still very playful, whereas the other ones, um, you know, they look a little bit more juvenile than this, but they're still very whimsical and fantastic. Um, but this is a little bit more um, ad adulty. <laughs> so the cap pops off and perfect mold, well done. This is how much product you get. And I will go ahead and give that just one swatch right here. Okay, so that's one swipe. Of Gemma it definitely is matte but it still has a shine to it which is kind of impressive I, I can see this being you know long wearing yet um, still shiny you see in that it's crazy I love this color and I'm glad it's the one that I picked for me um, on my skin tone it's like a very brown uh, like bronze color and I think that's gonna be great to wear with you know so many eye looks I'm so excited about that and that was one swatch like I mean you wouldn't need more than two so I think I will be ordering denim which is the blue and possibly the um, you know, I'll, I'll probably wind up buying them all, so let's let's just not even lie about that. <laughs> okay, so moving along um, to my final item that I received, it was the Venus 2 palette, um, and it wasn't on sale. I just, I had seen it enough that um, I had seen, okay, when I first saw the colors, I was like, how am I going to wear that? I, I don't know how to use these colors. Um... In combination I, I, I don't understand um, but I've seen enough people do different looks with it and I kind of just got really intrigued um, by it now the whole color layout you know comes with this little mirror and everything right here um, the the whole color layout is um, just so interesting it totally reminds me of the time I spent living in New Orleans all of these colors just remind me of like New Orleans and the swamp and the trees and the, the you know the cypress trees and the sky and um, it's there's something very earthy about this palette and I really really like how it looks um, I fell in love with this blue this cornflower blue um, and I just can't wait to play with this because it's, it's kind of challenging it's like well how am I going to wear this? I can see a few possible combinations, you know, like right off the bat. Um, but I will see. <laughs> so anyway, let me start swatching them. The very first color here is called Pigeon. And when I saw it online, 
um, I immediately thought that it would look like um, Max blue brown or brown blue it in person it's not coming off like that at all to me it's far more like bluish green um right away so i mean it's oh god the it's the quality <laughs> i'm like at a loss for words the quality is reminiscent of venus one it's very um rich and creamy uh, and oh my god, I, I just I love what Lime Crime does with their shadows. They just do it right and they're just so damn good. So oh my oh my gosh. So that right there, okay, that is pigeon. And um you can just see that beautiful like green oil slick. It, it's not quite like my blue brown. As a matter of fact, let me swatch Max uh blue brown pigment right next to it. Okay, so I have the MAC Blue Brown pigment, and I'm just curious, yeah, there's a huge difference there. The top one is the MAC, um, let me try to build that up just a little bit. Yeah, there's a difference. First of all, and you know, I didn't use a primer or anything, it's not as opaque. It's, it's not as opaque. Yes, you could build it to be as opaque, but it is not. Uh, at least from a finger swatch like okay I try to get more on there there is a difference there is a, definitely a difference there I see a lot more uh, teal blue in the um, and, and like a like a reddish undertone to the max blue brown and this is pigeon which um, I don't know it's it's more brown brown left far less red and I see more green in there rather than teal. So if anyone was wondering, here is Lime Crimes Pigeon and then here is Max Blue Brown. Okay? Moving along to the second color in the palette here, we have Filter, which was described, I believe, as a cornflower blue. Such a powdery, uh, rich blue. Super excited about that. Oh my gosh, it is exquisite incredibly opaque reminds me just of that blue milk eyeliner just oh my god it is perfect um okay and we'll just swatch that right here so that is filter and then the third color here is called marsh very very appropriately named it is very much like a olive green it reminds me of exactly its namesake a marsh um, and I will swatch that for you okay beautiful absolutely beautiful this color has has a gold to it um, it is exquisite I love this you guys I'm so happy I bought this I wasn't sure what to do with it but I'm I, I already have like so many ideas um, because the colors are just so rich and pigmented and gorgeous. Up next we have Mustard, very appropriately named as well. It looks exactly like its namesake, Mustard. Um, very interesting color choice. This whole palette was interesting. I, I read some people saying, oh, they just threw it together. It didn't look well thought out, but I, I beg to differ because the more I'm experiencing it in person, the more I can see how so many of these colors are going to work out. So there, right, right there is mustard. Up next we have Fly. Uh, this can be a beautiful highlight color. I can already tell. I mean just like BAM! Look at how the light catches that. Oh my gosh. Um, so just go ahead and swatch that one. Beautiful. It's far more golden and yellowy than um, the highlight color in the Venus One palette, which uh, was it Aura? I don't know. This one is far more yellowy and golden. The other one was just uh, very, very white. So that is beautiful okay so that is fly on the bottom so just so you know once again we have filter marsh mustard and fly up next we have jam which i don't i don't think it was necessarily named after like an apricot jam it may have been um 
I've also heard people saying that they thought it was named after like, oh, this is my jam. And I could see why because this color is so pretty. So that is jam. And let's just go ahead and swatch that for you as well. My hand's a little dry, forgive me, because I've been using the makeup wipes. And that's jam. Very pumpkin-y orange. I absolutely love that. Much more than I thought I would. I, I can see this being a beautiful crease color. Um, very, very, very nice. Up next is mud, which is like a reddish brown. Very, like, earthy tone. Uh, I think colors like this work so well when you have light eyes, like especially green. For some reason, like, um, you know, reddish browns and, and things like that just look so pretty. And oh my gosh, you guys, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Finally, we have a color named Boot. Um, Jesus, I mean, just look at that. Are you guys seeing that in, in my light? Um, all the photos that I saw of this on Instagram did no justice to that. Boot is absolutely exquisite and I cannot wait to see how it comes out. All of that sparkle that we just saw when we were looking at it in the palette absolutely comes off. Okay, um, in the swatch, on my finger, I mean it is there. And I like that it's actually a little bit more subtle when it's blended out. Uh, and I think you could absolutely build on that. There is beautiful green, blue, and purple sparkles in there. That is just so pretty. Um, it's I, I assumed it might be a little bit more opaque, but I'm kind of glad it's not because I like a buildable black shadow. I don't want something that's going to go on like a raccoon eye or a panda eye or whatever like right away because you can always get there. If you're going for a dark, intense eye look, you can get there. But if you start out with something crazy heavy like that, it usually doesn't end well. Um, I actually want to swatch a Kat Von D shadow underneath this to compare it. So this is the Kat Von D Spellbinding or Spellbound palette. I have had this for so long that I can't even remember. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of love. So this color right here is called the Odd Fellow. And as soon as I saw Boot from the Venus 2, this is what I thought of. Um, so I just wanted to put these side by side. Now, this is a far more opaque, like black heavy uh, shadow. I'm, and you can see that immediately um, right here. Um, but this one is so hard for me to work with because I've never been really good at doing smoky eyes. I always wind up going too far or not far enough or someone, someone, uh, what? <laughs> Somewhere awkwardly in between. And this is just so much for me, but I always want to use it. And this is just a happy medium. I feel like I can go into a, like not just um, eye looks that I do with the Venus too, but other eye looks and really just like get in the crease. And I think it'd be so beautiful. So one more time, top to bottom, we have um, jam, mud, and boot. And then we compared it to Kat Von D's Oddfellow. Okay, lovelies, I really hope you've enjoyed this video of my haul and the swatches that I provided with way better lighting than my very first Lime Crime video, which was my first video ever. Um, I will list all the products that I mentioned in this video in the description box below, also with links to my social media, and if you'd like, you can follow me there. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful day. Remember, always be yourself and don't ever let anybody tell you anything different. Just do you, whatever that is, um, as long as you're not hurting anyone or doing anything crazy, like bad crazy. Okay, enough life advice from me. I am exhausted. Um, I love you guys so much. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I love hearing from each and every one of you. Have a great night. Bye.